It's been 30 years since former Governor Tommy Thompson first took office. Thompson served nearly four terms, longer than any previous governor. During his tenure, he pushed through bold policy innovations, welfare reform, and school choice among them. On Tuesday, those achievements and others will be examined at an event in Madison. It's called Tommy at 30, a public policy symposium. Former Republican State Representative Michelle Litchens is the executive director of it, and she joins us now on Upfront. It's good to have you back on the program. Thank you very much for having me. So, so tell us how this came to be and, and what's really behind it. So a few former chiefs of staffs and good friends of the governor said we need to do something to look back at why Governor Thompson was so successful. It's been 30 years, like you mentioned, since he was elected governor. And when he was governor, he did some really innovative and creative things that were not only successful in Wisconsin, but you saw the rest of the country take those ideas and run with them. And even President Clinton took some of the welfare reforms idea that, uh, ideas that we had in Wisconsin and, and made those national. Is that what he's most proud of? I mean, are those... Are the policy innovations really the things that, that, that Tommy Thompson still talks about and well, says, look what we did? Yeah, that I can't tell you exactly yeah. what he's thinking, yeah. but I can tell you the people who are his supporters wanted to make sure that we looked at why he was so successful and how he was so successful so that legislators in Wisconsin could copy those ideas and legislators across the country could okay, copy so, those as well. Okay, so why and how? Well, how did we're, it happen? We're going we're gonna to share that with you on Tuesday. <laughs> so they did some academic and some journalistic reviews on three major topics. There could have been more. I wish we would have looked at Badger Care, but they looked at welfare reform, school choice, and the economy. You know, and it's crazy. We we look back at where we were in 1986, and our state was not in a very good place. You know, unemployment was going up, businesses were leaving. Governor Thompson took over, and our unemployment numbers started to go down, while all of the surrounding states continued to go up, as well as the rest of the country. So, uh, some of those studies answer some of those questions. Uh, we're talking about policy initiatives, but but Tommy Thompson was a fascinating political figure. Yes. How did he change Wisconsin politics? And, and I assume you'll be looking at that, too, on Tuesday. Most definitely yeah. we'll be looking at his political legacy. And every one of these papers, actually, the reason why they talk about him being so successful is because of his personality. Governor Thompson was so positive. And uh, he was famous for saying, isn't it great to live in Wisconsin when he opens speeches? Isn't was, it great to be a Republican? He <laughs> said that as well when he spoke to Republican yeah. crowds. His door was open to Democrats every day. He took ideas from everyone, from the lowly staffer to Democratic leadership. And remember, when he was governor, Democrats were in control of the legislature through 1994. So he had to work with Democrats to get anything done. School choice, when that reform came out in 1990, the Democrats were in charge of the Senate and the Assembly, and yet Governor Thompson was able to get some conservative reforms done. Why was that possible? And we hope to answer those questions on Tuesday. We have a few things more coming up this year, though, I want to make sure we mention. We have a gala where we're going to be celebrating Governor Thompson, showing tidbits from the documentary that we're working on as well. That will be aired later on this year. And the gala is September 18th at the Wisconsin Club. Uh, people can go to the website and look for more information. It's TommyAt30.com. We will also be posting all of these academic and journalistic reviews after the symposium on Tuesday. Are there lessons uh, from the Thompson era that are applicable to politics today? Is that your sense? You're someone who's worked in politics? Oh, I, I think there is. People were willing to work together much more so years ago. And I also think that's because they believed in Governor Thompson. They trusted him. If he said he was going to do something, he would. He was famous for being a good listener. Uh, he would go out and talk to people. The reason that school choice happened in the first place is because he was talking to uh, mothers in Milwaukee and said, I need to be able to send my child to a better school. He had welfare moms at his residence and, uh, weekly and talked to them about what could I do to help you get a job? And that's how welfare reform happened in our state. He was a great listener, and he respected everyone, and he was just such a positive advocate for the state of Wisconsin. So uh, Tuesday there'll be uh, both uh, people from the academic world, journalists, a number of people there uh, from different walks of life from, to talk about what exactly. happened. Exactly. And I, it's just so fun to see some of those journalists were there covering the state capitol when Tommy was 
governor at that mm -hmm. time when Governor Thompson was there. So uh, it's very interesting information. Again, we'll have the papers posted online afterwards. It will take place at the state capitol between 9 and noon on Tuesday. It will be live streamed on Wisconsin Eye, right. and it will be rebroadcast on Wisconsin Eye on the cable channels at a later time. All right, Michelle Litchens, the executive director of this uh, special Tommy Public Policy Symposium. We appreciate your time. Thanks Thank very you. much for being with us. Milwaukee County's outspoken and controversial sheriff says he's heading to Washington to take a job in the Department of Homeland Security. Governor Walker will appoint a replacement for Sheriff David Clark. You can follow the story on the process at our editorial partner, wispolitics.com. Coming up next on Upfront, a low state unemployment rate, but is there another number that also matters?